Oh, I'm still sweating profusely. I can't wait for fall. Fall and winter, please hurry up. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm going to be doing the Bougie Booty Guru tag. This was originally created by Agape Love Girl here on YouTube, so I will have her channel, her video, all linked down below, along with all the questions in this tag. There are 11 questions in this tag, and I thought it was just so interesting to focus more on like higher end makeup and like different habits, so I thought it'd be a lot of fun to do this. Oh, it's so hot. I think this is literally the hottest day we were supposed to be getting in the tri-state area, like either so far or for the rest of the summer. Anyway, it's gonna be gross, so I'm already sweating, so please excuse the sweat because of course, what am I doing? I'm wearing all black. And I don't know what this curl is doing, it's just there. So question number one is, would you rather buy one expensive luxury item or buy several items of the same amount of money? And I think there it depends on the product. Quite honestly, the where I splurge the most is eyeshadow palettes. So I would 100% buy um, like a more expensive eyeshadow palette if I really wanted it and like I was kind of lusting over it. But when it comes to like primers, um, I'm trying to think like primers, eyeliners, uh, like setting sprays, I would 100% prefer to go the more drugstore route and get more, especially when it's products that I'm using up consistently like on an everyday basis, like face powder. I would definitely get more of less or get more products with the same amount of money. With primer, with concealer, I would definitely go the more affordable route because that's stuff that I'm using every day. I'm going through fairly quickly. So that I don't wanna spend too much on, like mascara. I don't wanna spend too much on it since I go through it so quickly. But things that I think are gonna last me longer that I'm gonna help build my collection, I don't mind spending more. Question number two is, when it comes to beauty products, do you believe the phrase, you get what you pay for? Uh, no. No. I've tried so many great affordable products that they should be charging more for, but I'm glad that they don't. And I've tried a few higher-end, luxury, expensive products that were crap and that were just were not worth the money. So, quite honestly, I think this is a huge reason why the beauty community on YouTube and, you know, outside has gotten so big because you really can't trust that. If we knew 100% that everything expensive was going to be amazing and everything cheaper was going to be hit or miss, there wouldn't be a need for reviews, right? But there's such a gray area. Like I said, there are some really bad expensive products, there are some really good cheap products, and everything in between. So the only way you're really gonna know is if you watch a review or you get it and you try it out for yourself. Question number three is, what is the most expensive beauty item you've purchased with your own money? I think it's very telling that they, they also mentioned in the questions with your own money. So the most expensive product that I got was, I can't remember if this was like right after tax season or right after my bonus at work. It was a time when I had a lot of extra income and after putting some away for like vacation, I had a little bit and I wanted to splurge. And so I got my first big Natasha Denona palette. So this is the big Natasha Denona green brown palette. And I had been lusting after this for so long. Like I think I saw, um, like a YouTuber used this like on her wedding day and it was like gorgeous and I kept looking at it and this is the one thing that I wanted to spend the money on. This is over $200. This is like $238-ish dollars. Yeah, I know. Um, so I've got this. I use it every now and then. I definitely don't use it as much as I should given how much I paid for it and given that it's mainly green that I love. I wouldn't really recommend you pick this up. If anything, for Natasha Denona, I would recommend you pick up the mini palettes, you know, the small ones, just to get a, a taste of the formula and see if you like it. I definitely don't recommend picking up one of these unless you're like a diehard fan or if the color story really calls to you, because this is really only worth it if these are colors you're going to be reaching for constantly and that you love. So, like they have this one which is green brown and then they have another palette which is like blue purple. I think more people lean towards the blue purple but I knew for a fact I wouldn't use any of the purple so I got the green brown. So this is the most expensive item <laughs> in my entire collection. Question number four is are you willing to buy products at full price or do you usually wait for a sale or a discount code? I think it depends on where I'm buying them from and what the product is. I actually just recently picked up some Charlotte Tilbury products for the first time, and I did get those just full price at a Sephora in my local mall. My boyfriend went with me. He's the, he's the greatest, honestly. But whenever I buy anything online, I will take a look and see if there's any discount codes available. Maybe not when I'm shopping at Sephora or Ulta, but if I'm buying from an indie makeup brand, I'll take a quick look on YouTube, see if anyone has a discount code. 
check like with honey I've got the honey extension I got the ebates extension so I do try to use that but I will say I'm not the best at it and I sometimes forget and I could have saved a few dollars here or there and I'm like oh why why did I forget to do that so I'm trying to be better about doing that but I'm not one who unless it's a crazy expensive item I won't wait like for a sale to get it if I want something I'll pick it up and if I don't I talk myself out of a lot of things but I think that's just because of how far I've come in my makeup journey and like where my collection is right now. I've gotten better at reaching for what I already have in my collection as opposed to just like going out and buying things constantly. Like I honestly haven't bought too many things recently. I've gotten a few indie makeup palettes, uh, eyeshadow palettes. I picked up my first Charlotte Tilbury products because I've been waiting. I've been spending months thinking about what I wanted to buy from Charlotte Tilbury. So I finally picked up some products there and I got the new ABH foundation because that is something I really wanted. So I am wearing it today. This is my first time wearing it. So like things like that, I'll pick up when I want them. I'm not necessarily going to wait for a sale. Question number five is where do you shop for beauty products the most? I think right now it's actually like a tie between CVS and Sephora. I've been buying a lot of drugstore products recently and I definitely go to CVS for that. Though I am a bit worried about what the hell they're pulling with no longer offering like mail-in birth control. Like I'm, I'm looking more into that so I am a bit worried about that. But I do go to CVS for all my drugstore shopping and Sephora has been still my go-to even though their rewards program isn't the best. It's been my go-to for my higher end makeup. Question number six is how often do you get your nails and or hair done? I should have done my nails before this video. Um, <laughs> so I don't get my hair done that often. I get it cut like twice a year. Like I'm actually due for a haircut right now. I just haven't made the appointment and gone. I feel like I might go, I might, I might need to make an appointment because I'm going to be traveling a lot in September and October. I should probably get it done before then, right? So, I mean, I'm due for a haircut. I haven't got, the last time I got my haircut was in February, last time I got my hair done. Um, it, since then, I've cut my own hair and I've dyed my own hair. I did a whole video where I was dyeing my own hair using Madison Reed hair color. I'll link that up in the cards if you want to see it. But I'm not one who goes and like gets her hair and nails done all the time. I used to get my nails done every now and then, but recently I've just been doing them myself and they've actually grown really long. I'm happy with the length that they are right now. I actually need to like take the polish off and like redo it because my nails have grown out a lot since I did this, but I've actually really been liking the Hollow Taco nail polish. I just love black nail polish and like the, the Hollow Taco just adds a nice little glitter to it. I like it. So I've been doing my own nails. I don't really get my nails done because I think it is a bit pricey for how often you have to keep up with it. I just like doing it myself. Oh, and the next question is, do you prefer long or short nails? I like long nails. Um, I think I appreciate them now that I have a job and like a lifestyle where I can have long nails. At my last job, I was doing a lot of like manual work. I was working a lot of boxes and stocking shelves and carrying a lot of heavy books. So I couldn't have long nails. My nails always snapped. <laughs> which wasn't fun. So I kept them very, very short and stubby. This is like my perfect length right now. If anything, these might be a little too long. I think I have to shape them, but I'd say they're, let me see, can we zoom in on the nails? Ignore how much they've grown out and how the tips are kind of chipped, but this is kind of my ideal nail length right here. So I do enjoy having these longer nails. I really like them. This is just kind of where I like to keep them right now. But depending on like your situation or what you have to do, like when I go to travel, I'll probably cut these down a little bit shorter just so I don't have to worry about them, you know, nicking on things or whatnot. But for right now, this is the length that I like. Question number eight is which makeup brush brand is your favorite? So I would have to say Sigma. Sigma has some of the best brushes. I think they used to be a lot more affordable. Like I think when they first came out, they were supposed to be dupes for MAC brushes and they were a lot more affordable, but now they're almost the same price as MAC brushes. I've tried a few MAC brushes out. I don't think they're worth the price, 100% no, um, but I do think Sigma is. They do have these big um, brush sets that are pretty expensive, but if you're looking in for a smaller brush set or they do have a lot of these like influencer collabs that bundle their favorite brushes together. I think that was a great idea and you get like a discount on those. If not, and if you're buying brushes separately or if you're buying them in a different bundle, you can use discount codes. You can get 10, 15% off. I think those brushes are worth it. And also they give you like the free two year warranty. 
I recently bought a brush through their official Amazon page and the brush fell apart after a couple of months, which was really weird because I've never had another brush do that. So at first I was worried that maybe it was a, a counterfeit brush, but I reached out to them, they confirmed my purchase and they sent me a new brush right away. So they're really good, honestly. I think they're the best. My favorite ones are the F80, the flat top kabuki. I use that almost every day for my foundation before I smooth it out with a sponge. And then I also really like their highlighting brush. It's like the F08, F03. I'll throw it up on the screen. But I really like the, the highlighting brush too. It is a very... It gives you a very concentrated highlight though. So that's when you want like a BAM highlight. Not like a really blended highlight like today. It's if you want that intense like highlight streak question number nine is high-end or drugstore mascara i gotta go with drugstore here i've tried several high-end mascaras and while there have been a few that i have liked i always recommend and i always try my best to lean more towards drugstore mascaras because you're going through these fairly quickly you really if you're trying to be sanitary you should be throwing them out every three months so my favorite is from Essence. I think the Essence mascaras are incredible. I'm wearing that today. Wet n Wild also has some good mascaras. Like, I don't think you need to spend a lot of money on mascara when you can put that money towards other portions in your collection. Question number 10 is, think of your favorite makeup brand. Is it drugstore, high-end, luxury, or indie? Honestly, thinking about where I've been like this year and what I've been focusing on, excluding their last kind of fiasco palette i would say abh anastasia beverly hills has been like my go-to brand i've been panning one of their palettes i have the majority of their palettes in my collection i was so excited when they came out with a foundation i was like immediately yes i'm getting that they are just a very well-rounded brand i think so that's kind of my favorite right now and they i would say that they are high-end they're not luxury they're like higher mid-range and our last question is, considering your answers to these questions, do you think you're bougie? I don't know. I feel like I went very half and half here, right? I think my one of my favorite phrases that I've seen recently has been bougie on a budget. I like to think that that's what I am. <laughs> In some areas, I think I do splurge now that I have the privilege and the opportunity to do so. This is where, this is my main hobby. This is where I will spend excess money if I have it. So that's what I like to splurge on. But then also when it comes to like your everyday products, I've tested and I've found some amazing drugstore products that I really don't think you need to splurge on because you've got some awesome options at the drugstore and you don't need to waste your money there. You can take that money and invest it elsewhere so let me know what you think down below do you think i'm bougie do you think i'm on a budget and are you going to do this tag i want to see them this is actually such a cool tag i would love to see anyone who watches this video do this tag i tag you thank you guys so much for watching and i cannot wait to see you in my next video bye